So I'm going to show you how to cut an onion in a few minutes. <laughs> but uh, first, I want to tell you a story. So I've been teaching Whole Foods cooking classes for over 30 years. And the last 18 years, I've been teaching for the nutrition department at a university. And we have this really cool teaching kitchen where there are three U-shaped areas and there's two kitchen setups at each area, four students at each setup, so that's 24 students, okay? And so when they're all cooking in pots and pans and zzz, turning on blenders and talking, the noise level can be really high. So many years ago, out of sheer desperation, I decided to have them cook for a half an hour in silence. And I chose the week that we were making polenta. Have any of you ever made polenta? Oh, yay, yay, yeah, because you have to stir it for 25 minutes, right? You can't go anywhere. And I, I thought this might kind of ground them. And some good things happened. Their knife skills improved. They were having more of a relationship with the food instead of each other. And best of all, the food tasted better. Yay! So I thought, well, this is a keeper. And after a few more quarters, uh, several years, I decided to add a little something. So every week, the students get a recipe packet, and on the front of the recipes are the cooking techniques we're going to focus on that day, like braise, poach, marinate, and it has the definition of those cooking techniques. So the polenta week, I decided to add the cooking technique, love, with the definition, your thoughts and emotions go into your food as you prepare it. And I, at the end of the quarter, I got some surprises on my evaluations. I, I mean, I got the, um, I really like Cynthia because she's so open-minded, and um, this instructor is way too opinionated. <laughs> but I also got, I loved the integration of emotion and spirit into food and cooking practiced eating to nourish the soul. I liked the idea that putting love and concentration into cooking can really improve your nourishment. So the polenta silence exercise was affecting the students on a level that I had never imagined. And after a few more quarters, I decided to add just a little bit more instruction. And I suggested that they watch their thoughts while they were cooking. You know, just, just notice. Are you, God, that guy Jessica's dating, he's such a dweeb, I hope she doesn't marry him. Or are you, Oh, biochem test, Friday, I haven't studied enough. You know, just notice, are you in the past? Are you in the future? And if you can, let those little plop, plop, plop golden grains of polenta just, just sort of ease you back into the present moment. And when I looked around the room, I saw faces beaming, you know, students looking kind of blissed out. <laughs> if I came up and looked in their pot, uh, they wouldn't even notice I was there. And I realized, much to my astonishment, that I was teaching a type of meditation. Now, see, for me, I, I had this kind of really narrow point of view about meditation. You know, I learned hands on lap, palms up, eyes closed, run the kundalini energy. I learned yoga, asana, shavasana, pranayama. <laughs> so I had to reexamine what is it, what is it, you know, that I'm really trying to practice? And, and isn't it letting go of all that chatter in the mind and just coming into the present moment and saying hello to my connection to all living things. 
And it took my students to teach me that this could be accomplished while cooking your own food effortlessly. Yeah, because the food is begging you to be here now. That shiny red bell pepper, man, it wants you to check out its curves. <laughs> that butter, when it hits the warmed skillet, says, listen, if I crumble gorgonzola cheese, my nose hairs are called to attention. <laughs> and have you ever massaged a steak instead of, you know, hitting it with a mallet or kale? Because when you do, you can feel every fiber start to relax. And I swear that if you go over and you taste your pot of soup and you pause and you decide if it needs more seasoning or not, the soup notices. <laughs> All five senses just work to whoosh, bring you right into the present moment. And the benefits of practicing this are extraordinary. I mean, you're going to start choosing better food because that brainy looking head of cauliflower, man, that's, that's art from nature. It demands respect. A box of dried cereal, no, not so much. <laughs> And your cooking skills are going to improve. Yeah, the curry's just going to tell you how much cumin it needs. And you might stop using your body as a trash can for ingredients it doesn't want and it doesn't need. Because if you're conscious while cooking your own food, you know every single ingredient that goes into the dish. And the good intention and attention that you give that food, it comes back to you and to everyone else at your table when you sit down and eat. Yay! <laughs> and, it's, and it's simple. I mean, it's something that you can do every day. Uh, try it, you know. Just be present while you butter a piece of toast or um, while you cut an onion. So an onion is shaped like a globe, right? And it actually has a north pole and a south pole. And the north pole is where the stem comes up and grabs sunlight and turns it into chemical energy. And the south pole is where the little roots, you know, they go down and grab up micronutrients and together they make this globe. And we, we very rarely cut the onion across the equator. The best thing to do is to start by cutting it from north to south, from the heavens to the earth. Then I'm just going to trim off the north end a little bit and peel back these layers that we don't eat. And look at that, there's a handle, isn't that nice? <laughs> then I'm going to press my palm and flare my fingers, angle the knife downward. This table is not at counter height. <laughs> <laughs> and I made three or four cuts horizontally, and now I'm gonna make some vertical cuts. And I have no idea what I'm going to do with that onion. <laughs> but I trust it's going to be something good. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>